Hey y'all, what's up? So today I'll be talking about Pokemon and why I like it. In this series, I want to talk about things I like and why I like them. And I can talk at length about these things. So I can go on for a good 10 minutes about the same topic and why it's important to me. I hope that you enjoy it. Like and subscribe if you like more. I'm going to be talking about Pokemon for a good 10 minutes. Enjoy. Yo, so let's start the... Things I Like series off right with something I have liked for over 20 years. I'm 27, by the way, and I like this for 20 years. Could you imagine being into something so heavily that you still like it 20 something years later? Like, it's incredible. All right. So I love Pokemon. I've loved Pokemon since I was six years old and I've been heavily enjoying it and playing the games and watching the anime for years of course i dipped out of it for a little bit in my teenage years um, i didn't own every single game after generation four but i still just incredibly enamored by the idea of pokemon it's something i genuinely enjoy watching videos on or playing or watching the show it calms me down and i'll give you the reasons why I enjoy Pokemon so much. Let me preface this. So I for one love calm and gentle things. I love things that aren't too hard in the senses. I don't like things that are going to be a challenge for me to view or enjoy. I like simple things I can just walk into and get something out of. Simple as that. I like bright colors. I like those things that spark the imagination that I could easily insert myself into and create my own narrative and the Pokemon world gave me that thing so at a young age I was hit by a car and it was a very traumatic experience for me and I was just stuck in my own space I was scared of cars I was scared of moving that summer I couldn't swim it was a very hard time for me I had a very rough time after that and for years that affected me I don't know if it still affects me now but it probably does and I for one like things that could be my escape my visual mental and physical escape into something else the show allowed me to watch something that I would otherwise be afraid of things used to scare me growing up I used to not like harsh and violent things not until I got older I enjoy the game which is the physical part of the matter I get to think and be in a world where I for one I owned it I controlled it I was the best Pokemon trainer there is and then there's an aspect of me becoming somebody bigger and better than I am I never thought of myself to really be good at anything until I got older. I didn't start making music until I got older. I was never really into sports really that much. I was never really into anything except video games. And, you know, video games alone just helped me be, feel like I was something better than I am. And Pokemon gave me the feeling of growth and progress. Now, I'm going to tell you about the story of I'm just going to say every Pokemon game has pretty much the same story. You're a 10 year old boy, you go out on an adventure, some crime organization tries to do something, and you got to stop it. Whether it's world domination, capturing all the Pokemon, creating their own universe, which is literally insane, but I for one liked that one, that was a good story. Or whether it's just trying to find a separation between Pokemon and humans, which is a huge PETA narrative. You know, Pito would love that one, but I definitely w related heavily to finding my own way and becoming a bigger person. And that's all I ever wanted in life. That's what I want, and Pokemon allowed that, that allowed me to have that. You know, having companions on by your side who is there to fight for you. Ash had many Pokemon that he he started out with and grew with and that's all I wanted I just want you know I want to grow with somebody or something I want to become something better with the whole crew of people and in life I never really had that I, I moved around a lot I have friends like that and Pokemon just made me feel like dang 
these people will ride for you and they'll die for you that's so dope man and i was just so enamored with something that i felt was bigger and better and everyone in the world was so interested in that pokemon phenomenon and i was just like yo i'm heavy heavy into this dog <laughs> like Yu-Gi-Oh came out and it, and it had its you know it gave Pokemon some lumps and slowly kids started not becoming interested in it like I was turning 10 and kids were finding other things to enjoy so I had to kind of like it in, in private but I still watched it and I still had a great time with it it was extremely chill and sooner or later the more I do these you'll figure out that things I like are usually chill and don't bother me my senses or bother me at all you're not going to see me talk about liking the nfl or the nba or any sports organizations because outside of the sport and inside of the sport there's a lot of bad controversies that go on in there and you figure out these controversies have a lot to do with the outside world and i for one don't enjoy things that could bring me back into the world I mean, I do really love rap music, but I love rap music for its artistic content and creativity and social commentary. Uh, I, for one, don't enjoy talking about, us, for example, the NFL because all of this negativity in terms of injuries, sports rivalries, internalized and externalized racism that players have to deal with. And I, I don't even want to talk about that. I can do a whole video on that sub subject and topic, but I'm not going to. And I just feel like with this one video game franchise, which is the biggest franchise in the world of entertainment, I believe, or almost up there, it gave a lot of children that escape who are usually between the age of six to 30 mid 30s at this point you know it, it gave a lot of people that sort of escape and made them feel nice and that's all we want in life we want to feel nice and we want to have things in our life that help us deal with the real world and that's what pokemon did for me and i hope you have something like that in your life as well i i still enjoy it i don't play the games as much but i do watch speedrunners complete the game i listen to the music I love Pokemon chip tunes that played on a Game Boy. I make remixes of it. You're listening to one right now. And I just really enjoy being in that world still. Even though I'm 27 years old, I'm close to 30, I still really enjoy it. And I hope that we all have something in life that we enjoy just as much. It's been real. Peace. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy that video. I'm just about ready to go to bed. Listen, we had fun. I talked at length about something that's really not that important, but it's important to me. And I felt very passionately about Pokemon, and I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you have something that you're that passionate about, too. I know it's a cartoon, but, you know, it's something that I hold near and dear to my heart. So I hope you like and subscribe for more. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day and a good night.